And this next story is incredible. Dion Dawson is a father, a husband, a Navy veteran who has dedicated his life to helping others. Ever since the uh, pandemic hit his hometown in the south side of Chicago, Dion has worked tirelessly to help people in his community get access to free, fresh food. Right now, Dion is backstage with his wife, Crystal. They have no idea what's about to happen next. Dion, Crystal, hi. Hi, you guys. Wow. You know what? I'm filming my show right now, and uh, wow. you, you're my next guest, so you need to get out here. What? Come on. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm like, no way. Yes! <laughs> oh my God! I done broke my watch. I don't care. Uh, uh, oh, that! <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, I was excited uh, being on your Wi-Fi. This hi, is hi. You know what? First oh, of all, oh my God. I love your suit. I was gonna wear a suit very similar to that. I love your suit. You dress amazing. You <laughs> and Jay Z at the Rock Nation brunch. He's wearing mauve. I said, when I bought the suit, I bought it for your show a year ago, and I said. I have to kill it. You bought this a year ago a year for the ago. show? Yes. I was nervous, wasn't sure if he was gonna be able to fit in it. Uh, <laughs> a year. Wow, so that's manifestation. Definitely. You, you said, I'm doing this, and you ended up wearing it on the show. <laughs> um, well, I, I heard about what you're doing, and I wanted everybody to know about what you're doing. Wow. So um, I think you're incredible. And I know that you had a tough time transitioning when you came back. For, thank you for your service, by Appreciate the way. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you so thank much you. for your service. Thank you. Um, and I can't imagine that anyone would not have a, 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 a you know, a, a hard time transitioning, com coming back. But you took that and turned it into something amazing. Tell everybody what you're doing. Uh, so I'm Dion Dawson. It's my wife, Crystal. I'm the founder and executive director of Dion Chicago Dream. So it's yep. a nonprofit in Inglewood on the south side of Chicago, and we're fighting uh, food insecurity. Yeah, and, and what you're doing, <laughs> this situation where People are not having access to free, uh, fresh food. Yes. So tell everybody, so why are you, what made you want to do this? Um, it's a lot of different things. First things first, I grew up on the south side of Chicago. Um, I was homeless. My mom struggled through substance abuse. Uh, single parent, mother of four boys. Both, all of my brothers are still alive. Um, I was the youngest, and I know what it means to, to starve, to be hungry. I had a time when I was a kid, and I went three days straight on croutons, you know what I mean? Um, can't eat them now, but um, <laughs> that, what it did was it, it gave, it armed me with a different perspective. So I don't use uh, my pain as a crutch. I use it because I have a certain type of qualitative data that I know that people care about. Um, quit my job, my wife, you know, was scared, you know. Very scared, uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. still uh -huh. is. Yeah. Uh, she's in HR, so, you know, we're polar opposites. I'm the, the wild child. Um, and. After last year, I just, people came to me and said, what are you gonna do? And it was one of the craziest moments of my life because I felt responsible. I said, okay, if I'm, I'm a leader, I have to lead. And I said, you know, we're gonna feed 100 families. And we, we raised $2,500 in a day and a half on GoFundMe and bought 800 pounds of food and we fed 96 families. And it was the greatest feeling of my life. And yeah. I've, I've deployed. Uh, got married, had a son, um, but it was different. I felt like I belonged there, and it was it was stressful. But after that, I said, we're gonna go for it, and started yep. Dion Chicago Dream. And, and what you're doing is amazing. Um, you can go to our website to find out how you can support Dion's Chicago Dream. I have uh, something for you after the break, so okay. stay where you are. Okay. Let's fix your watch. We'll Definitely. be back. So explain the refrigerator delivery service. Right. So on one hand, we have the, the community fridge. Uh, I was sitting in bed one night after I started the nonprofit, and I was telling my wife, I said, when it comes to our organization, we need a flagship thing. 
And so our community fridge is open every uh, weekday. We opened it September 11th last year, stocked it every day since then, uh, fresh fruits and vegetables, and we go on the honor system. And right after me and the team stock it, uh, we just say, hey, ladies first, and just get enough until tomorrow. And since then, it's been amazing. That's amazing. And you have a four-year-old son who helps uh, stock the fridge every day with you, which I love. I said during the break, he's going to grow up to be quite an amazing young man. All right, well, I love the idea that you had for your community, uh, Dream Fridge. So it gave me an idea for you. Okay. Um, so let's walk over here. Okay. Zena, bring it out, please. Okay. Oh, wow. I have a refrigerator. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> All right, you can both stand there. And uh, all right, before we open it up, uh, we know that you constantly go out of pocket and work around the clock to keep your nonprofit running, despite what's uh, going on, uh, your credit card debt. So uh, you still choose to help others, which is amazing and selfless. Amazing family. Okay, uh, pocketyourdollars.com is a free helpline help assisting Americans in getting out of credit card debt improving their credit score, getting seniors Medicare coverage and more. They want to help, so Pocket Your Dollars is going to give you $25,000. Oh. Wow! Oh my God! Wow! And I'm sure everybody watching today is going to get involved and help you stock that refrigerator.